All right, I have been waiting to swatch these all out for you. So I got my usual victim here. And we've also got this B paper, marker paper, which I am really looking forward to trying out. Mm. Oh, that just feels so good. Alrighty, without further ado, let us begin. See, it says open here. can't be the only one. I used to take things like this and if I got them in a good solid piece like that, I would just stick them in random spots. Have any of you ever done that? Post below if you have. Or if you've thought about it. Or if you didn't at all. Let's get a conversation going. Oh, that's actually really neat. The way it opens up like that. really cool. It's that one. And this one I got just for these guys. These are the Sharpie wannabes. At least that's how it's coming across. Let's get some swatching done. All right, so these are the Crazy Art Color Shirt Markers. Yes, behold my horrible, horrible handwriting. So, and they fit in the orange box pretty nicely. And as I suspected, they are essentially Sharpies. As I showed a bit earlier, they do bleed through like Sharpies now, then this is just sketch paper. It's nothing super fancy. It's a bit thicker than regular, than your average sketch. Yeah, yeah it's kind of a push. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm rambling right now. <laughs> but it's a pretty nice color selection overall. And I've got some Sharpies that I might just use these with in conjunction, kind of a, uh, a supplement. Jeez, I was trying to think of that word for something earlier today, and I just, uh, my brain just doesn't want a brain today. <sighs> Anyways, we will do the big intensity next, and then we'll actually draw something with these. All right, so I finished swatching both of these out now. I have to say that the big intensity, they were smaller tips than I was expecting, but I love the way the color went down. They also look like they could bleed through paper, so just be aware of that. They both felt good in the hand. Oh, and the metallic. I'm not sure if it really shows up on camera all that much, but two metallics, very metallic. All right. Well, we've tested them out. We know what the basic colors look like. Let us draw something with them. I do love that the B paper got this nice little protector sheet right up front. Protect your Page one. Oh wow, that the paper just feels magnificent. All right. Now let's sketch something out. Oh, don't know what happened there. Focus camera, focus. I think that just for fun, I will do the sketching with my green, my grass green, excuse me, color erase pencil. As you can see by this eraser, I've been using the one of my purple ones. 
Okay. And, um, as I've admitted before, I'm not always the most, uh, prolific with, um, thumbnails. I usually just sit around and wait for an idea to come to me. Ah! Finally thought of something. Really wanted to do something that can take advantage of all the bright colors we've got here. I'll try to resist the urge not to do another rainbow bright. But I still want to use all of these really nice bright colors. Let's do a really, I really wanted to do a cute dragon. You know, kind of rounded off horns. And I might use my other color erase pencils and do some background accents, maybe some flowers. So I'm going to speed things up for now while I do this, and then I will be talking to you in a bit. All right, so we've got our line art now. Let's get the, that out of the way. Well, I should probably do thumbnailing more often, but for just, this is how I've always done it. It's just comes to me and I kind of add as I go. I'd like to know, do you guys thumbnail and plan out every single little pencil mark or do you just let things flow as they go? Please post a comment. I really, really want to know. Well, I'm just trying to decide how I should go about this because I love, love, love all the details but it could make using these a lot more difficult. So I might actually use these as a background accent. I might be able to do some of the bigger chunks with these. Gonna take to fine lining and then we're gonna color it in one way or another. We are gonna do this. Let's go. Sometimes that can be exhausting. Mm. Overall, I think it turned out really good, even though I, my hand, it just got unsteady right there. But we will see what we can do. I've bounced back from worse mistakes. Or happy accidents, whatever you want to call them. Okay. But now that I've got this out, we need to make a color palette. So there's obviously going to be some purple and green. But what kind exactly? Well, I've told you about how I plan. 
or rather I don't plan. I know, brilliant, right? Well, I guess we can start with this and see how it goes. Oh. Yeah, use some pink and purple for accents. really excited to see how these work on this particular paper. It's time to just just dive in. Oh wow. That is really nice. That is just delightfully smooth. Very similar to my gel pens, except I think that the ink is actually flowing better. Oh wow, that is just gliding on there. And the pencil isn't gumming it up or anything. Wow, that is nice. And, oh boy. This paper is, there. so you can actually see it. There's a little bit of bleed through, but nothing too severe. In fact, hang on one second. This sketchbook is actually small enough to utilize this that I got in my Ohuhu markers. Now all this is, just a thick plastic sheet. Oh wow, that fits pretty nice. And then in case there is any more bleed through, that'll catch it. You would think I'd utilize that more often. Overall, I loved the big intensity. The color sharps were all right too. I'd give the Bix a solid 8.5 out of 10. Great price and performance. The color sharps by Crazy Art were not half bad. If you like Sharpies, you'll probably enjoy this more budget-friendly option. 7 out of 10. Plus the color sharps don't have that noxious fume that sharpies do, so that's another plus. Plus they work nicely together. You could easily layer the colors from both marker sets. Just wonderful together, super vivid and cheerful. 
My only major complaints would be that I like more colors in either brand. That and I don't believe either one of these sets are light fast. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Overall, I'd recommend that you give these a chance. If you tried these out before, either brand, post in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Absolutely loved working on this. All right, here we are, all finished. I am really, really pleased with how this turned out. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the page here. Oh yeah, look at that, that is actually not... And that little protector thing did help, but look at that. Now then, these, uh, these Bics, the Bic Intensity, the set of these was about $15 at Walmart, while the Color Sharp by Crazy Art, these were, I think, $10, $12. And this is using relatively inexpensive markers and pens. I'm not sure if these would be classified as mark- like it says permanent marker, but as you can see the tips- look at that, it's so tiny! But they are really really nice. They're like- they're similar to gel pens, but you don't have to fight with them as much. I, I am really glad I picked these up. I love these. The, these were fantastic. I, I enjoyed using them both. And look at that. You make some really pretty art with that. Oh, there's one thing I almost forgot. Those things I said about gel pens, that wasn't directed at you. we go. Well, gotta remember those highlights, you know. Always keep one of these on hand. Well, our little dragon friend here and the flowers are finished. I am... Oh, wait, wait. Jeez. <sighs> One minute.
Okay, so just how many endings is this video gonna have at this point? I don't even know. Just checking. Okay, I think this is the last one. <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank all of you for joining me today, and I certainly hope that this video has inspired you in some way to pick up a package of these and try them out for yourself. Or a package of these. Hopefully you will be as happy as I was. As for the paper, this is B brand paper. If you can find some, pick some up. It is magical. Not sponsored, by the way. I'm just very happy with the products I purchased. <laughs> Anyways, this is Silver Hyena signing off, and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!